got Mr. Greg Dean here. He uh, had two episodes, different episodes of fasting on our trip to India. The first was for four days. Four days. The second was for two days. Two days. So uh, if you could let us just kind of go through your experience on the first one, why it happened and why you chose to do it and how you were feeling. The first one, I had a, I don't know what I could relate it to exactly, but I had a treatment, um, a multi, like modality type treatment with acupuncture and energy work and uh, osteo work. And uh, I think it was really powerful and um, stirred up a lot of toxins and uh, released a lot of um, blockages that I had holding inside of me. So with that, it um, I took on a high fever and had a little bit of nausea. Uh, I didn't I didn't um, I didn't uh, evacuate uh, through anything. I just felt a little nauseous. It wasn't serious at all. And um, uh, so with that, I just I didn't feel that comfortable eating. And after I went a day. I said, I'm just going to keep this going. I was just like, all right, I just kind of started the fast. So I'm going to I'm going to take this as, as far as I want or can. I was in the right environment. I was in a, um, you know, just a, a yoga atmosphere and environment. So it just seemed like or the right place to do it. At Parmarath. At Parmarath, uh, Parmarath uh, Nikitan Ashram in Rishikesh, India. Um, so... Uh, after the first couple of days, and I was just drinking water. After the first couple of days, uh, I just had uh, you know your typical hunger feelings, a uh, little weak, kind of out of it, spacey. And um, then after a couple of days, uh, I, I noticed um, my normal aches that I may feel in my uh, lower back or uh, elbows and wrists all went away. My I became super limber, like I was really flexible, and uh, when I practiced, I noticed it right away. I could I could move like I haven't been able to move in a long time. Um, I never got to the point where where I started to feel I had all this energy. Um, I know a lot of people say when they get into you know past the six or seven day mark, they have a ton of energy and and no side effects of fasting. I never really got to that point, but I never felt like I couldn't function throughout the day. I always felt like I could function. Things were starting to improve in general. And, um, and you know, the, um, the thought of eating never crossed my mind. And it was really easy. It was really easy to, um, you know, replace the, the eating routine um, with, with not eating. And, just drinking water and going about my day normally, totally normal. So that first four days was all water, or first four juice? days was we were in part. Okay, so first four days was uh, water. I drank some tea, like ginger, lemon, honey tea, and uh, oh, I had I did have some juices. I went and uh, just got some uh, whatever type of like detox, like beetroot and um, uh, green juices that. Um, I may, I, might, I may have had like a lassi or a smoothie in there too, but it was just juices and water and occasional tea. So the mental capacity to the outsiders, it felt like you were pretty spacey, but how were you feeling on the inside? First couple of days, I was feeling spacey too. Um, after the next couple of days, I was totally fine. Totally like completely normal, if not a little more clarity. Um, uh, yeah, just a, a little more clarity. Second fast. Second fast. Um, I uh, second fast. Um, I basically I, I was feeling constipated, <laughs> and I had already I had eaten the day and a half before, so I had you know four or five meals sitting inside of me, and nothing was moving. So I didn't want to just keep stacking food in me. So I said, I'm not going to eat until I start to feel something move. And um, that, was, that was a lot easier. It was, it was 
just a lot easier, I think, from the four-day fast before, and um, and just kind of you know there being a reason, like it just it was um, um, necessary. It was just yeah, it felt it felt necessary, uh, and just went through the same thing about you know first day or two, you just feel a little out of it, and you know, um, which makes a lot of sense because you know you're just you're kind of starving yourself and um but then your body adjusts it's really interesting when your body adjusts to it um so you know what what is what is that what is that conditioning like what is that attachment to food that you have that you know because it, it was all mental it was just a oh i mean i guess my my stomach would grumble and stuff but it was more a mental more a mental kind of like feeling of hunger and uh and, and pushing through that and then uh that one. Oh, is that when you were doing some trifla and ghee and what else? I was doing everything. <laughs> everything. I mean, I was uh, doing some, yeah, trifla. Just trying to like really, you know, just uh, breathe. I was rubbing my stomach a certain way, you know, up on the right side, down on the left, sort of like your, your the direction of your colon, your digestion, and um, and doing some yoga, some breathing uh, exercises and. Uh, just trying to get something to move, and eventually it worked. Um, but eventually, my, eventually, the fried food and the lassi. Yeah, and then yeah, the fried food and, uh, triggered something. So uh, tr fried food with a local family that we went to their house. Yeah. And there was no option but to be. I couldn't say no. In the flow. Yeah, yeah exactly. And the lassi is same same thing. Yeah. Yeah. So they were offering. I was in Rome. So, uh, um, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't prescribed by anybody. I was just doing it to do it. So I just ate something and eventually things moved. But uh, it's really interesting with fasting and what, you know, the idea, one of the ideas to fasting is to give your GI, give your um, digestive tract a break because your digestive tract, your GI system is so important to your health. Um, it's, it's your main nervous system to your body. It's only function with like the rest of your body. Like it, it has one mission and that's to heal. All it does, all it is supposed to do is heal. And if you put toxins in your body and put things in the way of your digestive system and all the things associated with that, your bacteria and all that, <clears throat> if you put things in the way of that to heal your body, then you're not going to. So you need to give it a break um, so it can do its main function, it can do its job, and um, and you're gonna see yourself recover. Like you may, if you've never done this before, and you have toxins in your body and you have um, pain or suffering or whatever, then this is going to, fasting will for sure improve things. And you won't believe what your body could sustain on and how quickly things will improve. But you just won't believe it. You, you have to do it. That's an order. <laughs> Thanks, G. You're welcome.